Hi, David Chapa here. I'm with the CTE Group. I'm the senior analyst and founder. Um, I'm traveling this week, but I want to make sure I get this video done because uh, it's it's time sensitive. We're winding down to uh, uh, winding down 2019, and about ready to enter into 2020. So, what does that mean for us in, in data protection and technology? Well, I spent some time kind of researching a little bit of what I believe is going to be uh, 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 happening. Uh, I've got my notes down here on my on my table and in, in front of me, and I'll be uh, reading those off to you. What I decided to do this year is a little bit different than I've done in, in past years in these prediction. Is I've decided to do my top five uh, using uh, song titles from the uh, from the late '60s or middle '60s and the '80s. I've been in data protection for a long time. I've been seeing a lot of things happen over the years. I've loved watching the new technologies uh, emerge uh, and the new solutions that really help IT deliver at, at a much higher level. Um, but the reality is where we sit today is not necessarily how fast can I back that up. It's really about the data itself. What's inside that, that encapsulated um, protected nugget that I have is it important and so th th those are some of the things that I thought about so starting with my top five list using song titles the song remains the same now what category could that be tape you're right way to go tape is not dying tape has never died you know think about this we got this continuum here Back in the 80s, tape was, tape was king. Tape basically filled up this entire continuum, except with a little bit of, of removable disc packs and things like that for backup. But tape was the king. Now, as, as a cheaper disc was introduced and faster disc, and we were doing more in that client-server environment, um, tape kind of shifted a little bit. And then deduplication came in, and then tape shifted down here a little more. But tape never said... We never said the tape, you're gone and dead and we, we took you away. It just moved further down that line. So it was king and now it's still king, but it's got some princes and, and princesses in front of it. So deduplication disc, cheap disc, that's still going to be working together with, with tape. Uh, tape still is a solution that will be around. Number four, pump up the jam. I just had a give you a little pause there. Uh, this is about appliances, backup appliances. You know, uh, they're not going away. Uh, they are going to be around. And, and primary reason for that is you want fast recoveries. Cloud backup is, is certainly happening. Um, disaster recovery in the cloud is certainly happening. But we are, we are in this hybrid model. So we are looking at ways that we can both protect uh, and recover pretty seamlessly. But the speed to recover is sometimes hindered by network performance. And I'm talking about getting it down from the cloud. Again, not saying cloud's bad, I'm just saying that's the reality of, of the situation. So the appliances, the speed and recovery for uh, data locally on-prem is still gonna be uh, around, it's gonna be important. Uh, and, uh, uh, but look for other, other technology advances within those, uh, those appliances to help speed up the recovery process from the cloud if you got to bring that data down. So number three is get off of my cloud by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yeah, multi-cloud is going to be big. It's growing um, more, in, more in adoption, uh, but it's going to be growing even more in 2020. So solutions that will support multi-cloud, not only from just a data perspective, but multi-cloud from an application perspective. Application in cloud A, data in cloud B, uh, or data in cloud B and C. So um, solutions that support multi-cloud in an effortless way for IT, look for those, those solutions to, uh, to emerge in 2020 and 2021. All right, number two, the song Automatic by the Pointer Sisters. Yes, automation is going to continue to flourish very nicely in 2020, uh, especially around disaster recovery. Again, one of the more challenging things in our, in our IT world is disaster recovery and, and getting it done, but also documenting it. So any kind of solution that can help you document your disaster recovery, in other words, uh, these are the machines that we're gonna be recovering, 
but these are the dependencies that these machines and applications have. Uh, that's, that's important. And if you can find a solution that will help automate that, uh, that's going to be a home run for you in 2020. Number one is somebody's watching me. <laughs> can you guess? Yes. Uh, GDPR and data privacy. So two years ago, GDPR came out in, uh, in the EU and it was a big to-do, not to make a rhyme. Because that meant, even if you were not in the EU, but you were doing business in the EU, you had to uh, comply with those regulations. Uh, so that, that put a lot of uh, US uh, uh, companies uh, you know, on edge a little bit, figuring out what they had to do, how they had to do it, and comply. California similarly uh, produced their own uh, data protection uh, privacy act called California Consumer Protection Act uh, or CCPA. By the way, um, that was proposed in 2018 and it goes into effect January 1, 2020. So the California Consumer Protection Act goes into effect January 1, 2020. So it's important. Uh, start looking for other states to do something uh, similar to what California has done and what the EU has done. Even in New York, um, they have, uh, it's called NY Shield. New York, uh, New York Stop Hacks and Improve Data Security. That's what NY Shield stands for. So look for this to, to happen and, and, and uh, spread across the entire US and maybe even become something uh, federally mandated. And those are my top five predictions for 2020. Um, I hope you enjoyed the humor in it and uh, you liked my little Casey Kasem voice that I could get out there. Um, and a uh, serious note, the, the data privacy, data security is a big, big thing. You know, that all has come out because of um, data leaks and our own personal information getting out there that, that we never intended for it to, to be released obviously. So uh, be looking for those solutions, uh, looking for those governance, uh, those governances and those uh, regulations by state. Uh, and then also, if you're going to be doing business in, in New York or business in California, uh, know too that you have to understand what those regulations look like. So I hope you all have a wonderful uh, New Year and uh, you have a very safe celebration of the New Year. And we'll be talking to you or I'll be talking to you in 2020 for sure. Again, I'm David Chapa with the CTA Group. Thanks for listening.